Something very interesting happened on Friday the 3rd. The Public Service Commission issued a public notice through a full page, full page, paid advert in almost all major dailies in this country. And in that notice, the Public Service Commission announced the redeployment of hundreds and hundreds of Nairobi County government staffs to central government. And when I read that notice, I asked myself several questions. And I knew at the back of my mind that that move was going to set up Mike Movie Sonko against President Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta. But I concluded that probably the new Director General of the Nairobi Metropolitan Service wanted to do that because of three reasons. The first reason I concluded was probably it was a strategy to dissolve the county government of Nairobi. Because this has been one of the, 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 one of the thinking behind the system. They've always wanted to dissolve the county government of, of Nairobi. So I thought maybe by, transferring, by starting to transfer some of these employees, they were preparing the county for a dissolution. Because there's no way you can dissolve the county government of Nairobi without dealing with the staffs. And number two, I thought probably it was a strategy by the new director general to take control of the staffs working for the county government of Nairobi. Because as long as those staffs are working and are answerable to the county public service board and the governor, then there was no way he was going to have control over those employees. And that's why he was transferring them from the county government to central government. And lastly, I thought maybe the new director general wanted to really expose the ghost workers in Nairobi County government. So that's why he was telling them, we are going to redeploy you guys, all of you, hundreds and hundreds, to central government. And of course, some of those people might turn out to be ghost workers. And just like I said, I thought and I knew so well that this was going to set up Mike Movie Sonko against President Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta. And true to my predictions, yesterday, the Nairobi governor, Mike Movie Sonko, responded to that notice. And by the way, in that notice, the Public Service Commission also announced a series of meetings with the, with the county government staffs beginning on Mon Monday 6th, which is tomorrow and Tuesday. And I knew Mike Sonko was being isolated and he was going to react. So today I want us to look at the response by Mike Movie Sonko yesterday. Because Mike Movie Sonko reacted by issuing a statement nullifying any meeting which had been organized by the Public Service Commission with the county government staffs. I'm going to wait whether I'm, I'm going to wait for tomorrow to see whether that is going that's really going to happen. But I really sympathize with Mike Movie Sonko. If any of you have been following Mike Movie Sonko of late, you'll realize that he's a man who has been trying so hard to remain relevant. For example, he's been trying to to be seen to be working in dealing with this particular crisis the country is currently facing. But we all know that health was one of the devolved functions fully. But sadly for Nairobi, Mike Sonko allowed health functions to be transferred to central government, which means as things stand today, Mike Sonko has no role at all as far as health functions are concerned. Now let us go to this particular statement which was issued by Mike Sonko and I want us to go through it step by step. The headline of the letter is saying nullification of, of the meeting called by the Nairobi Metropolitan Service through the Public Service Commission. So Mike Sonko does even have the authority to nullify a meeting. I think Mike Sonko is forgetting one thing. That the moment he went to State House and penned that letter, he knew what he was doing. He knew that his role as a governor of Nairobi came to an end on that day. Now let's go. Just how he's starting this letter. He's saying, foremost, I wish to regret, I mean, I wish to register my great displeasure and disappointment and that of the entire Nairobi city government in atrocious and repugnant manner in which, manner with which a few officials from, from national government have chosen to pursue the implementation of deed of transfer of, of functions that I signed on 25th February at State House 
and witnessed by President Uhuru Muge Kenyatta. What Songo is forgetting is that he was forced to sign this document. He really didn't even read the content of this document, I'm sure. Because he was only given 15 minutes to drive to status and documents were unleashed on him. He's, con he's continuing. Number one, his first point, there is a presidential directive expressly prohibiting all public gathering. It is therefore the height of impunity for the newly created Nairobi Metropolitan Service through Public Service Commission to purport to, to summon 6,052 employees of Nairobi City government to KICC on Monday and Tuesday next week to collect alleged letters of redeployment with total disregard to the risk, to the great risk they shall be exposing themselves. I said it's thousands and thousands. When you talk of 6,000 employees being redeployed, what does that tell you? And I think this is what is worrying Mike Sonko. And these guys have been asked to go and collect their letters. So Mike Sonko is now using the current crisis as a shield. But the fact of the matter is these guys can even decide to split how these guys are going to receive their letters. Not necessarily at KICC. Because the president has gathered, has, has banned gathering, Mike Sonko is invoking that. But let us look at that. The second reason is giving that the Nairobi Metropolitan Service and the Public Service Commission has no current juris, jurisdiction whatsoever over employees of Nairobi City County Government. As it stands, the responsibility still remains with the Public Service, with the County Public Service Board, County Service Public. And that was what I was saying. These guys could be strategizing on how to dissolve the county government of Nairobi. There's no way you can dissolve it if the issue of employees is not really addressed. I, I still don't understand what will happen assuming these employees are, redi are, are redeployed. And then, because this deed was supposed to, to run for how many months? 24 months. What will happen after 24 months? So I think Mike Sonko could be right, but he's wrong because he made the mistake of signing the document. <laughs> Number three, third is saying, in his address on March 18th, during official handover ceremony of the transfer functions at State House, Nairobi, His Excellency President Ru Kenyatta was categorical that, that that marked the beginning of a partnership and collaboration between, the, between my administration and the newly created Nairobi Metropolitan Service to see the smooth implementation of the deed. Probably Mike Sonko is not realizing that what Uru meant is actually what is implementing here. He might not be aware. I'm sure that the president cannot just wake up and direct the Public Service Commission to do this. Because these are, we are talking of 6,000. Remember, the other time, these guys made some appointments. And these appointments were not directly through county government. They were through the Public Service Commission. So already there are several directors who are appointed to be in charge of various departments, like Ologa, Dr. Loga was appointed, Dr. Lunga was appointed as the Director of Health, Director of Health in Nairobi, but through Public Service Commission. That should have warned Mike Sonko, and if he wanted to challenge this, that was the moment for him to challenge, because already a president had been formed, and these guys are actually moving on. <laughs> Number four, he's saying, fourth, the deed of transfer that we signed in I think he meant is. The, the deal of transfer we signed is extremely clear on how communication should be conducted between the national government, the Nairobi County government, and the Nairobi Metropolitan Service. So far, all manner of individuals from national government have continued to summon to call for meetings with and issue directives to county employees through telephone calls, SMS, WhatsApp messages, and other unorthodox communications channels that are outside, outside standard government procedures. <laughs> I pity Governor Sonko. In government, there is always a clear channel of communications. The only thing I foresee here is a situation where Mike Sonko is being, some of these communications is being bypassed. I don't know the kind of arrangement they had as far as communications, the, the, communication, the communications channel. But the moment Sonko signed this document, some of these things ought to have been made public. 
There is nothing Sonko is going to do here. Remember the other time, the Nairobi Metropolitan Service met with all the leadership from Nairobi County. Sonko was missing. So if it was supposed to be, be smooth the way he was claiming, then in my view, we would have had Mike Sonko there, the new Nairobi Metropolitan Service there, the leadership from Nairobi also there. But Mike Sonko has been missing in all these functions. I don't know why. Probably he's been uh, he's being bypassed or he's not being informed or probably he just decided not to attend some of those functions. But the fact of the matter is Nairobi County government has gone. But now let us go to the last bit, which is saying given the foregoing, given the forego the foregoing as the governor of Nairobi City County, I wish to direct as follows. Now this is the governor of Nairobi issuing directives. <laughs> Remember, the moment he penned that document, he, relegated, he, 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 he relinquished some of the functions and roles he was performing to, to the national government. Mike Sonko was very clear that it is him who reached out to President Uru Kenyatta to transfer some of the functions. And when the list of the functions which were transferred came out, it was clear that Mike Sonko basically was left with very little to do in the county government of Nairobi. So let's, let's see what he's saying. His directive, number one, he's saying the public gathering called by the Nairobi Metropolitan Service through the Public Service Commission scheduled for Monday, February 6th and Tuesday, February 7th, 2020 is hereby cancelled until further notice. This is in line with the President Directive issued to combat the spread of <laughs> the virus. <laughs> Let us wait and see. I'm not sure whether Sonko has any authority to cancel any meeting convened by the Public Service Commission. Remember, these are guys who are working for the government. The government of President Ru Kenyatta. What will Mike Sonko do if these guys will decide to continue with this meeting? He can, Sonko cannot invoke this directive of uh, the pandemic. This one can only be invoked by the Minister for Health, not Sonko. But Sonko, I don't, I don't, KICC, who issues certificates for any meeting at KICC? I think KICC is also owned by the government. So Sonko can only cancel any meeting in those stadiums, city stadium, Uhuru Park, and those other parks. I don't think he has any jurisdiction to cancel any meeting called by the government here, but I know he will attempt to cancel. And that is how he's going to set himself up against President Uru Kenyatta. If I were Mike Sonko, because he still has a pending case going in court, if I were still Mike Sonko, just like I advised him previously, I would just take a law profile and watch these guys do their things. Then I'll continue assuming I'm still the governor, riding with a flag, doing all these other things, but let these guys do whatever they want. Unless there's something he's trying to hide. Number two, the second th directive Son Sonko is issuing is that the Nairobi, the Nairobi City County government employees are hereby advised to ignore the, the threats allegedly issued by the Public Service Commission on behalf of the Nairobi Metropolitan Service. Nairobi will not be governed. <laughs> Underline that. Nairobi will not be governed by intimidation and threat that lack in legal standing. And the Nairobi Public Service Board shall advise in due course the procedure and the process of the secondment in a manner that shall address all the concerns that the employees have raised with the Public Service Commission through their union. I, I want to take, I, I want to be very keen moving forward and start monitoring what's really happening in Nairobi County. Because why would the national government transfer these employees to central government? What's cooking? Probably the employees are also raising certain issues. But why would employees of county government of Nairobi resist being seconded to, to national government? Because national government is the mother body. And even when it comes to payments, salaries, the county government, the county government employees always have issues with salaries. But national government employees have never had them have any issues with salaries. So why are they, is there something they were benefiting 
as being employees of county government of Nairobi than when they were, they, when they will be government, I mean, central government employees. It's going to be very interesting. But I read a lot of politics in this. Mike Sonko, these guys, just like I predicted, these guys are keen on frustrating Mike Sonko. And the moment Mike Sonko will not have any say, the moment Mike Sonko will not have any say in on the employees, he will cease to be a governor automatically. Because there's no way you can you can direct employees. You, won't, you will direct employees if they're not working with the central government, if they're not working with the county government of Nairobi. <laughs> Number three is saying <laughs> all Nairobi city county government employees are hereby directed to ignore any further communications regarding the transfer of functions from any quarters whatsoever. Whatsoever. Whenever the communication is not in writing and copied to the governor and the county secretaries. <laughs> Just like I said, it seems a lot of communications are going on, but it makes Sonko is being ignored. Why that is happening is something I still don't know. But maybe we'll get to know in the in, 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 the, in, the, in, the, in the near future. But I think these guys have decided and are pursuing their objective of taking over Nairobi. And just like I said earlier, that Mike Zongo committed a mistake. There's no way you can serve as a governor without appointing ministers. Half of your cabinet ministers are out. So these guys will have the opportunity to appoint these people. And even the ones who are existing, some of them are not your friends. So they'll support the, the government. So I'm sure some of the communications are coming through these people. But because you, they had problems with you, now they are paying you back. I think this is what what's happening here. But let us see how Mike Sonko is going to deal with this. Because in my view, it's not going to be possible. And he's saying, <laughs> number four, the transfer of functions did not amount to take over or resolutions of the Nairobi city county government. As such, the country remained fully functional under the constitution. Decorum must be observed and maintained at all times in the implementation of the transfer of deeds. That way, the full benefit shall be enjoyed by the people of Nairobi. Just like I predicted. This thing is about the, the solution of the county government of Nairobi. That's it. There's nothing. It's all about the, dissol the dissolution of the county government of Nairobi. Let's wait and see what's going to happen. And he's saying evidently there are a few individuals who have chosen to hijack the noble mission that the president and I embarked on to move Nairobi forward. But I wish to assure them that their sinister motive shall not succeed. Nairobi has been here for the last 120 years and shall remain for many centuries. You get that? I hope you are getting that. Someone is trying to hijack. And I'm telling Sonko, this thing is not being hijacked. This thing was designed that way. The question which Kenyans should be asking themselves, should Nairobi remain as a county or should Nairobi remain as a metropolitan? And if people had problems with Kidero, people have problems with Sonko, will people have problems with the next governor? And is it fair that this function should be transferred to the national government? And the other question, has the government delivered? In their roles, are they providing the right things to the citizens? If Kenyans are tired with the government, why should they take over Nairobi? So these are some of the questions which are going to come up. These are some of the questions. And I know the referendum, which has been stopped by this uh, crisis, was going to address this particular matter. And is concluding, going forward, I wish to thank the employees of the city, of the Nairobi city government for their patience and cooperation so far and I give them to continue discharging their functions diligently as we harmonize the transfer of the implementation of the deed of transfer. Governor Mike Sonko, personally, I've always have a lot of respect for you and I'll continue having a lot of respect for you. I know you mean so well for the people of Nairobi. I know that. But this thing is going. Ikiti ya Nairobi inaenda. Not because of any other thing, but because you allowed it to happen. The moment you signed that document without proper consultation, it went. 
The moment you allowed yourself to serve as the Nairobi governor without a deputy for over one year or almost two years, that's the moment you allowed this to happen. The moment you refused to appoint half of your cabinet, that's the moment this thing happened. Make Zonko, the moment you refused to listen to any advice, that's the moment this thing happened. The moment you refused to be advised and believe that it's only you and you as the governor, that's the moment you allowed this to happen. I don't know what you're going to do about it now. But I think it will be up to Kenyans to decide whether Nairobi will remain Nairobi or whether Nairobi will remain Nairobi Metropolitan Service. Thank you guys. And please, if you're bumping on this video for the first time, I want you to just take a second or two and hit the subscribe button so that next time you produce a video like this, you get notified. And to the subscribers, I want to continue. Thank you guys for your continued support. Thank you guys and please, may you have a good day. And by the way, always remember to have your, your mask. May I have this? This, this mask, it's reusable. I bought it in town. I think it was around 100 bob. So I can use it for a week because the government has directed we must follow the government directives. That's the only sure way we can also play our part in dealing with this crisis. So like this one, I just put it whenever I'm going anywhere. So you can always get one, especially this reusable for the time being, because I know the government will start providing them anytime from next week. Thank you guys and please may you have a good day. I'm not putting it on because in this house, I'm here alone. Thank you guys and please, good day.